Yo. What is going on guys? I'm back at it again for another video. Um want to see you post it again. You know, in the gym. And I'm also working out since you know got nothing to do anyway in quarantine. So we got stay tuned and um see my videos and also I'm just stay tuned. Um Yeah. You all know how it is we going out every day. Week other week because you know this you know COVID-19 stuff so just stay safe all right that's all I got to say all right when it's time then try to know I don't know why to come up all right so this one is I had a dream and that changed my life wow now it ain't no ordinary dream keep it cool keep it classy let's get it My name is My Melanie. Name is Melanie. This okay. happened when I was six years old. In 1989, I lived in San Bernardino, California. One night, after watching my favorite TV show, I decided to sleep with my mom. I used to sleep alone, but somehow I went to her bed and she smiled at me. While I was sleeping with her, I had a dream that I was at a park. It was sunny, and there were a lot of big trees around. I was in the car, in the and my car, mom was my standing mom was on the corner, corner of the sidewalk. Of the sidewalk. I, struggled I struggled to open the door, open the door but it didn't but open, it at all. open at all. As I was pounding I was on the back of the car window, 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 crying for her to help me, to help she me. just stood there, just stood there smiling, smiling and waving to and me. Waving to me. Then, I then I woke up, crying hysterically. hysterically. Mom, also mom also woke up, woke up and rubbed my back, asking what was wrong, but I couldn't bring myself to repeat the horrible dream. Nothing. I told her I and told fell her back asleep fell without back any more bad, bad dreams that, that night. After a year, After we moved to, year, Las we moved to Las Vegas, and I was getting ready, was getting to, turn ready to turn seven in a couple of weeks. Couple of weeks. My, older brother, my older brother, sister, and I went to the airport went to, to the visit airport my aunt, aunt who lives in Washington for a while. For a while. After yeah. finishing After check-in, finishing check we went through we security went through and got ready to board the plane. When I looked back at my mom, she was smiling and waving at me. It was the same way as in my dream. Nope. Nope. That's how you know it's a weird dream because you look back and it was again, so it's like, nah. Look at that. Nope. I don't even know if that's your mom. Just saying. Nope. Your dream is somehow and somewhat haunted. That's all I gotta say. That's all I have to say. I couldn't dismiss the weird feeling during the flight. But despite the anxiety, we eventually arrived at my aunt's house peacefully. We were about to have a big party since my birthday was coming. And on my birthday, my mom called to greet me and said that she loves me. That was the last time I ever heard her speak. Everything was all right. I was so happy at the time. I was waiting for my mom to come over here and spend time with us. A few days later, my uncle told us to sit down in the living room as he had something very important to tell us. I noticed that my older sister was sitting in a corner chair and was crying quietly. Wow. He proceeded to tell us that my mother was no longer with us. Wow. At first, I couldn't understand what he was saying. He See, then told saying. us that she died from a car accident. Wow. There was See. nothing there was more nothing devastating than that day. that day. Everybody, Everybody in the living room the living was crying room was with such with piercing such sadness. sadness. Wow. Now I've now grown I've up, grown but I still up, have I dreams still have of my mom smiling, mom smiling and waving at me. I hope this story hope this urges story whoever is whoever watching this watching video to cherish your loved ones. Because, because it could be the last, be day, the last day, day you see, you see or, speak or speak to them. There he is, back in action. Hey, you. Your dreams is forever haunted. I don't care what nobody say. It's haunted. It's haunted. You know, it's just about mine. Your dreams is forever haunted because, you know, you went in the airport and she was staring at you and smiling at you the same way and waving it. Come on now, it's haunted. Basically, your dream is like weird, haunted at the same time. 
So, my condolences to you. You know what I'm saying? That's all I got to say. But, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. My condolences to you. It's haunted. It's sus. There's no way for you to have this exact same moment and feel it again. That's how you know it's, a, it's haunted. That's, that's, that's all you know. That's why... I don't even consider it as like a nightmare. I hate to say it, it haunts you. It's like it's not even a dream. It's a nightmare. You know, you didn't even know. You thought your mom was alive. And then you said, well, she had a car accident. So that means all the time long, it was, you were just imagining it at the move. So it's like, wow. That's crazy. That is real crazy. All right. See you guys later. Peace out. Follow me in the uh, description down below and on social media, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe.